Okay, good evening all. Attempt number three to make this video. Uh, good evening everybody, my name is Jordan. Uh, I uh, am here today to give a review on Herschel's Red Bull. Herschel Tabac. Uh, so to, to, to start, uh, this, this morning I got up and I decided that I was going to take this snuff throughout the day so that way this evening I can do some on camera and review it and everything, but mainly so I can really do it throughout the day and, and think about what I'm experiencing, what, I, what I'm tasting, what I'm smelling, whatever. Uh, Red Bull, I'll tell you right off the bat, I love this stuff. This is great, great snuff. Uh, let, let's, let's kick it off here with a little hoot. As you can see, I'm going to tap some out here. Got a, got a little bit there. Ooh. I got my snuff hanky. Ooh. Guys, the Red Bull is outstanding. It is great. Uh, the best I can compare it with, you guys know, I, I just started taking snuff. I can compare it to uh, Old English McChrystals. It's, in my opinion, it's pretty close uh, of a snuff. Only when you do Red Bull, it like it goes in with little to no bite, and then kind of like opens up. You know, it kind of like the flavor kind of opens, blooms, if you will. Very very cool. I get a lot of mint. Uh, a lot of peppermint uh, and obviously menthol. Uh, uh, Simply Snuff, couldn't think of his name, put it really well that that eucalyptus kind of comes in in the background and kind of locks it together. And and I'd have to agree with that. It's 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 a great snuff. It really is. It uh, it is a little intense uh, for the menthol. I'm loving menthols. Again, the, I, I, then again, I've only had menthols, so I'm loving them. Uh, yeah, so Red Bull, excellent, excellent snuff. I think everybody should, everybody who likes menthols should for sure try a Red Bull. Uh, it's it's great. It's it's strong. It hit hits hard. I found that this morning when I got up, you know, I brushed my teeth and did my usual routine uh, before I left my apartment here. I tapped some out and had some. And it, it'll wake you up immediately. You know, it, it really gets you going. I have found that the nicotine in Red Bull is, to me, quite a bit stronger than, than the two McChrystals that I've had, which is ONG and English. Uh, I have a can of English menthol, but it's old English. Uh, the nicotine in this is, is a decent amount stronger. Uh, and I really noticed it this morning whenever I took it for the first time. I felt the nicotine kind of uh, kick in and, and all that. And I like that. I really do. I'm, uh, you guys, have, I think I said it in my other video, or one of my other videos, that um, I'm a big snooze user. And uh, I'm, I'm planning on reviewing some snooze on this channel as well. But I've been taking some snooze throughout the last week or so. Uh, that's pretty strong in nicotine, like Jakobsen's Mint, one of my favorite snooses, probably my favorite snooze of all time. Uh, it's got pretty quite a bit of nicotine in it. It's got uh, 14 milligrams per pouch. But I've stopped, I've ch you know chilled out on taking uh, snooze in order to really be able to accurately weigh in on the nicotine content on snuff, or at least to feel it. And Red Bull's got some good nicotine, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, Red Bull, uh, very, very minty. Again, it, whenever you, whenever you take it, it doesn't, it's not sharp. It doesn't bite right off the bat, but it kind of blooms into a bite. And I get very peppermint, uh, and eucalyptus and menthol. It, it's a great snuff. It's a great snuff. What can I say? For anybody that hasn't had it, you should totally order a can for sure. Uh, if you're in the States, uh, I recommend calling down to uh, the Houston, Texas uh, tobacconist uh, uh, briar shop. Uh, I've ordered these. I think I said this in my last video. I'll probably repeat myself a little bit, but I ordered a bunch of snuff from them. I ordered it on Monday, and these were here yesterday, Wednesday. 
And so I'm in North Texas, they're in South Texas, but still that's a pretty quick turnaround time. So if you're interested in getting some quickly or soon rather than having to wait uh, for, for Toke or uh, Mr. Snuff or whatever, uh, call down there. They have a pretty good selection. They have some crystals. They have uh, a good selection of Perschels. Uh, they have a bunch of Bernards. They have a few uh, Wilson of Shara. So, yeah, give them a call. It, like I said in yesterday's video, you, you will be paying for more. It's more expensive, but you're paying for the convenience. And one of them is this. Uh, I guess let's take a little bit out here and let's kind of uh, take a look at the color here. And that, that brings me to the tap box, the topic of the tap box. The Red Bull and the, and the uh, Gletcher Priest tap boxes are great in my opinion. I really like them. I think for my lifestyle and me uh, and the work that I do, it's a lot more convenient to have a tap box and tap some out and just quickly do it than it is to to uh, have a can. You got to open the can and make them. I, I'm bad about making messes or spilling it. I'm I'm worried about that, you know. So I'm, I'm I told you guys in the, yesterday's video that with the cans, uh, I kind of keep them together in a bag so that way I don't spill them. Uh, so the tap box I really like. I especially like the Red Bulls tap box. The Glutcher Priest tap box is, is great too. It's just a little bit bigger and I like it. I'm, 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 I don't mind tap boxes is what I'm trying to say. And, and Perschel seems, out of these two, seems to make some, some good tap boxes. Uh, let's see, the, the Red Bulls snuff is uh, a lighter, a pretty light snuff. Uh, it's kind of fluffy. It's not as fluffy, fluffy or, or cottony or pillowy as the Glutcher Priest, but uh, it's 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 a good medium color. It's good moisture. Uh, it's a, it's a finer grind, I think, than the Gletcher Priest. Uh, the best so far, you got. I, I I can't remember if I said this in one of the other attempts at filming this video or not, but I'm gonna say it again. Uh, the closest, the the ones, uh, the snuff that I believe is closest to Red Bull that I've tried so far has got to be. Uh, the Old English, the McChrystal's Old English. It's very similar, only I think the Red Bull has quite a bit more eucalyptus in it, a little more pepperminty, as opposed to Old English has a more menthol, uh, tobacco uh, flavor. You know, it's more bold with those two statements in, in McChrystal's, as opposed to the Red Bull. Very pe uh, pepperminty, very eucalyptus-y. They're, when they're tied in together, they, they just they fit so well together. It's Excellent snuff, excellent stuff. Let's go ahead and do this next one here. Very great. I love it. However, my one complaint that I've figured out so far that I have with Red Bull, with English Menthol or Old English, even McChrystal's ONG, is last night I, I, I did the Gletcher Priest uh, video yesterday and after the video I kind of just kept doing this for the rest of the night. I've found that strong menthols uh, definitely cause my nose to stop up easier. I'm sure a lot of people uh, have the problem, cause your nose to run, all that. Mine kind of swells and stops up a little bit. Uh, so I'd be curious to hear any of you guys what your uh, remedies are for that uh, in order to enjoy snuff longer in order for your nose not to dry out or whatever. Uh, if you have some remedies, leave them in the comments below and, and let me know. But uh, what I've been, what I went and got is some of this Afrin uh, pump mist. Uh, it is a nasal solution uh, or nasal decongestant. It's been pretty helpful. Usually I'll take a pump in the morning and then maybe one later in the evening. Uh, I work out. I'm, for a living, I'm a plumber. I told you guys that yesterday. But I'm, I'm anywhere from somebody's garage to under their house. Uh, you know, I'm outside. You know, allergies bother me sometimes. And so, uh, yeah, so snuff, mentholated snuff, really strong mentholated stuff, uh, kind of uh, aggravates that a little bit. It's not terrible. But uh, the Gletcher Priest, I found, does not, barely... I can do this all day, no problem, you know, no problems at all. Uh, yeah, so 
yesterday in my review about the Kletcher Priest, I was kind of brief about this snuff, but I love this stuff. I, I really, I'm going to be a regular user of this stuff for sure. Red Bull as well, but this I can, t I can do all, all throughout a day and not get stopped up as opposed to Red Bull, uh, uh, or uh, old uh, ONG or old English, they kind of stop me up a little bit. So again, if you guys have any rem remedies to help with that, aside from a neti pot, uh, I I'd be curious to know about them. The, the neti pot and I sometimes don't get along, but I've done it a few times. But you know, not because of snuff or anything, but in the past. But anyway, Red Bull is a great snuff. Uh, real quickly, I was going to read what it says on Mr. Snuff about Red Bull. It says, description, dynamite versus Red Bull strong, which is this. Uh, I have tried these two powerhouses recently, loved both right away, but the longer I go, the more I appreciate the subtle differences. Dynamite has a light citrus under the massive load of menthol, and Red Bull allegedly has some herbalish uh, scent under the menthol bomb. Additionally, Red Bull is moister and fluffier. That's what it says on, on there. Let's read what Red Bull, what it says on the uh, Toke website. On the Toke website, it says, A classic strong snuff with natural eucalyptus oil and menthol. This snuff has been in the Snuff Hall of Fame for decades and has to be tried. I, to I wholeheartedly agree with that. I get peppermint, a little bit of peppermint out of this. Uh, it only says eucalyptus and menthol, but I get some peppermint out of here for sure. Uh, it's very cheap on uh, Toke, uh, the Toke's website. Uh, for this can right here, it's a dollar ninety-five. Very, very cheap. Obviously, you got to wait a little bit. That's I'm I'm cool with that. You know, whatever. Dollar uh, ninety-five for one of these. I think I paid seven dollars for this can. So, from from Briar Shop, again convenience. And you guys are going to hear me talk about Briar Shop a lot because it's very easy for me to order from and get it here quickly. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. Red Bull, give it a try, guys. You'll like it if you like menthol. Uh, very, very, very good stuff. I will be, I'm, in fact, I have two other, three other cans of this coming in my order from Toke. So, uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Th please like and subscribe. Uh, I always hate on vid on YouTube videos that at the end the guy's always like, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Uh, but I kind of, I get it. I understand it better now, especially with these types of products. Uh, I think more people, especially in the States, need to know about snuff. I think there would be a lot of people that enjoyed snuff if they even, if they could find stuff other than uh, W.E. Garrett. Uh, which, one of these days, I'll buy a can. I can get it next door. We have the sweet and the dry. One of these days I'll get a can. I'm nervous about that one because uh, I don't know if I want to inhale some dust. You know, I like moisture and stuff. So, uh, anyway, give it a try, guys. Thank you guys for, for, for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, all that stuff. You guys have a great evening.